Greetings and salutations, my fellow Australians. Actually, that's not a great start. That makes me sound like I'm about to become the next Prime Minister, or at least campaigning to become the next PM. And that's a job I definitely do not want to be doing. Let's try that again. G'day, mates. Uh, if you're like me and you're looking to save some money in 2024, cost of living and everything that's going on around this beautiful country of ours, well, check this out. I've got a couple of very, very helpful websites too, in fact, that may save you more than a handful of Aussie dollary doos. So, if you're not a billionaire mining magnate at this stage yet, let's check out how you can save some coin across the rest of the year. Now, I know I'm really preaching to the converted here in Australia when I tell you the cost of everything has gone up, and in some cases, significantly. Now, this could have been a price rise at some stage across 2024, we're up to June at the moment, or at the back end of 2023 in anticipation for the dumpster fire that is this year. Case in point, personally, paying more for rent. Gas and electricity prices, absolute big one. The house is freezing without the heater running, obviously. The shed that I'm in is ice cold and I don't want to put a temperature gauge in here because it'll probably freeze and not give me an accurate uh, representation of how chilly it actually is in here. But I am armed with a cup of hot chocolate in my Batman mug, so I am prepared for any eventuality in here. You got mobile phone, that's gone up. Internet costs, that's gone up. I was on Netflix without ads. I've switched to Netflix with ads uh, just to save some money there. That hasn't actually been too bad. I don't mind the occasional commercial at the start and sometimes in the middle of whatever I'm watching. So that was actually a good deal. The other big one, as you know, here in Australia, just the general cost of living. Groceries through the roof, whether it's supply issues or the ongoing war somewhere in the world. The supermarket prices at the moment, especially for some things, is absolutely ridiculous. Which is why when I come across any kind of saving, be it in a catalogue or someone saying, hey, this is on special or you should stock up now because the price of this is going to rise, I'm right across it, or at least I'd like to be right across it. And so today we are checking out a couple of very, very handy websites that should save you more than a handful of bucks. It does require a little bit of timing, a bit of pre-planning, but... If it can save you money that you can either put in savings towards a goal or put towards bills so they're not crippling you financially, so much the better. Now, before we kick into this, I just need to make clear that I have absolutely no association with either website. I don't know the creators personally. Um, I get no kickbacks. There's no monetary plan involved here where if I send 100 people here or 100 people there, I get you know X amount of money or some kind of gift or some kind of bonus. No, no connection between myself and the websites whatsoever. I found them both through Reddit. I just found them incredibly handy and I'm hoping you do too. And if it ends up saving you some money, I'd love to hear that in a comment below. If you found a bargain of a lifetime or a similar website that I'm not uh, across so far, that's going to save me some coin, be it here in Australia or internationally. I'll, I'm open to savings all around the world. Please let me know in a comment below. And if you do get a, a bit of a benefit out of either website and you're thinking, okay, he was onto something here, maybe like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate that too. All right, let's check out a couple of websites to save you some coin here in Australia. Game on, let's do it. Now, with this first website, shoppingtrolley.com.au, you really need to be aware of how it's spelled. It's a very special spelling. If you put in shoppingtrolleyamazon.com.au, it'll give you all of the listings for various shopping trolleys that you can buy through Amazon. You'll never find this site. But once you load it up on your browser for the first time, definitely save it and definitely bookmark it because what Shopping Trolley is all about is the chance to find all groceries at at least 40% off from Amazon, same price or cheaper than you'd find in Coles and Woolies, which is a fantastic benefit by itself. Uh, so you can save money there. But what works even better than that is if you have Amazon Prime membership, you actually get free delivery, which means that uh, let's use a can of soup, for example. Say it's $3 at Coles and it's $1.50 through Amazon and you've got Prime, you can have your can of soup delivered to your house for free for half price. 
which is absolutely staggering. Now, obviously it works better the more items you buy, but in the past, just to try this out, I have given this a go, and I ordered myself uh, some mint body wash. Now, I used this years and years ago, back when I had hair, it was one of the best things that I accidentally discovered because it just gives you this nice tingling sensation. And if you are a follically challenged like myself, then you put a bit of this stuff on your hair in the shower. It just tingles your scalp. It's an amazing feeling. I saw this through shoppingtrolley.com.au and I went, oh, yeah. And I didn't pay more than three bucks, I think, for it at the time. A few days later, there it is in an Amazon box delivered to my door, ready for me to jump into the shower. So that is absolutely awesome. I've bought coffee. I've bought a few other supplies. At the moment, because I'm not an Amazon Prime subscriber or I've or I cancelled my Amazon Prime subscription, I haven't been using this site as much as I have previously. It was more of a case of, well, I've watched all the content that I want to watch on that show. When a big series comes back, I'll sign up again. And that's probably when I'm going to use shoppingtrolley.com.au again. But it's always going to be there to check the prices. And if someone says, hey, oh, coffee's expensive, I can go, hey, check this out. It's actually cheaper on Amazon. Are you a Prime customer? Definitely get on it. So if you are with Amazon Prime, the benefits to this are awesome. Plus, you can either check out the website, you can subscribe as well, and they will send you daily specials to your email. So if you like to uh, do the occasional shop, not a big shop once a week, this could come in handy. You could still plan a big shop through it, but uh, groceries delivered to your door at at least 40% off. You can actually change the slider, so you can get bigger discounts. There's a whole, whole lot of stuff across the range as well. Shoppingtrolley.com, definitely one of those websites to bookmark. <laughs> Now, website number two, I actually found this morning, which is why I'm making this video, because I just looked at the website and went, oh, awesome, another great, very handy guide to saving money at the supermarkets that I'm going to bookmark. That could actually make a great video. And here we are. It is halfpriceweekly.com. Now, it is not halfpriceweekly.com.au, halfpriceweekly.com. Uh, and even though it doesn't have that AU at the end, this is a website that lists everything at Coles and Woolworths here in Australia that's at half price or better. So we are talking savings galore right across the entire thing, whether you're looking for some uh, stuff for the kids, whether you're looking for meat bargains, whether you're looking for sauces, whether you're looking for pasta or noodles or rice or whatever it is. Uh, weekly specials, which is absolutely awesome. And, you know, there's a lot of specials. You could go through all the catalogs. They usually put just the best specials there. This is practically everything in the one handy website. And the beautiful thing about halfpriceweekly.com is that uh, you can go to the website and you can download the latest list and you can peruse it and off you go. Or you can do what I did this morning after, when I found out it was an option. And I actually put in my email address and subscribe. Now, every Wednesday, they're going to send me a new updated list of all of the specials. I get paid every second Thursday, which means when the Wednesday list comes out, the money comes in on Thursday, I'm good to go Friday with a full armed list of things that we're going to buy at half price or more from Coles or Woolworths. Now, it is only for Coles and Woolworths. There's no IGA. There's no Aldi. But still, we're talking the two major supermarkets and we're talking the bargains that you might not be aware of. And if it's the usual stuff that you buy, like we go through so much pasta and so much pasta sauce and bits and pieces each and every week. If it's the staples that you're getting that you're saving on, that is fantastic. You can put what you save towards something else. Or like I said, you can spend it on bills. You can put it away for a rainy day. You can invest it. You can buy it. Do whatever you like with it. But just save. Bookmark this one, halfpriceweekly.com. Again, another one of those really handy sites that I found through Reddit. And thank you so much to whoever put them up in the first place. And thank you to the creators who built them. Definitely another one that you should be bookmarking if you want to save some Aussie dollar dues. So there you go, shoppingtrolley.com.au with its very special spelling. Be aware of that, otherwise you will never find the site again. And halfpriceweekly.com. A couple of sites that'll save you potentially, well, a lot of money depending on what you buy at the Australian supermarkets. Like I said, if you found that handy, if you've saved up a storm, if you've bought a car with the savings, please let me know in a comment below. I'd love you to also like and subscribe. And if I've missed any savings website, whether it's here in Australia or internationally, please let me know below. Share and share alike. The more that we can help each other out, the better this year will be because it's been a pretty rough one so far. Uh -huh.